Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, one of the leftover pole arms that I never finished. Uh, this is the Soul Harvest Scythe. Uh, the Soul Harvest Scythe is a, a normal difficulty item, so it is something that you can use relatively early on in the game. And um, it does have some uh, interesting mechanics on it that make it um, sort of useful for a low-level character. Um, specifically one in Act 2 normal difficulty. And as we go over it, I think you'll see. Uh, we have a two-handed damage of uh, 12 to 32. Um, it is a scythe class. Uh, scythes are generally very short-range weapons, so keep that in mind. Uh, we also have 65 durability on this, which means it'll last for quite some time. Uh, 41 dex, 41 strength. Uh, so relatively low requirements on both the strength and dex, although the dex does make it less usable by... Uh, any character who would not be putting points into dexterity. Um, in fact, most characters don't have anywhere near 41 dex around level 19 unless they've pumped a few points into it. Uh, we also have um, level 19, which is literally mid-act 2. Usually you hit 19 somewhere around the time when you get to, like, Arcane Sanctuary, uh, maybe Canyon of Magi, depending on how fast you're going, whether you're skipping over stuff or not. Um, so you're, you're still pretty much in act 2 when you get your hands on this. Uh, we have a normal attack speed on this weapon. However, um, if you were to put this on a druid, I'm pretty sure the attack speed would go up. And uh, let's double check that real quick, just to just to really kind of get into the nitty gritty of items. And uh, and that's kind of what a lot of people don't understand about a lot of these items, is that they are specifically set up for specific characters. Um, a you know a, a pole arm or a bow or a uh, you know a crossbow or something like that that might say uh, you know very slow you know very slow or normal attack speed on one character when you put it on another you notice now it says very fast attack speed when it's on the druid the druid has a very nice two-handed uh, speed increase for certain weapons and so as you can see the druid definitely does get the increase in the speed for this particular item so keep that in mind as you're thinking about the soul harvest that perhaps it may be better off used on a druid that has that nice speed bump now um the soul harvest does have some interesting mechanics and um for a level 19 character they're actually pretty good uh, first off, we've got an enhanced damage on this particular item, which is kind of weird. Um, it's a uh, 50 to 90 percent, which is kind of an odd variable for a normal difficulty item. Uh, so this is not the highest damage that the Soul Harvest can possibly be. Uh, we're looking at uh, a bottom end of 15 for the maximum and a top end of 38 for the maximum on this, and. Um, it goes all the way up to 90% enhanced, so 50 to 90% enhanced. That's not really a huge variable, but if you were going to upgrade this to Tier 2, the 90% would make a pretty big difference. Uh, we also have 45 attack rating on this, which is static. Uh, and 45 attack rating is always nice to have because it's going to get multiplied by your skills, of course. Um, and, uh, you know, it's pretty cool. I also forgot to mention the fact that it just looks freaking awesome. I don't know if you guys have actually ever, like, taken a look at the Soul Harvest freaking it's just it i mean it literally looks like a spine like legit a spine you know what let me pause this i'm gonna zoom in as much as i can so we can get a good look at this there we go that's about as much as i can zoom in without uh without making it look weird um as you can see here we've got a serrated blade which is just freaking awesome on top of that we've also got blood on the blade it looks like a freaking uh, what like a demon sort of or, or like goat skull with freaking horns on it and then the the actual shaft seems to be a spine with uh, you know with little spine things coming out all over it i mean it's really freaking cool um and even for multiple angles it just has a lot of uh, a lot of character to this particular item um very 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 sexy uh, appearance and uh, certainly an item that could you know like if they ever added a transmog system into the game uh, it could essentially be one of those items that people like to transmog. Uh, we also have 10% mana stolen per hit, which is really high, and that actually is static, so it's always going to dish out 10% mana steal, uh, which makes this kind of an interesting choice for a character who may be burning mana uh, on a regular basis, like as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which characters could get the most benefit out of a large amount of mana steal, but um, most melee characters in the lower levels definitely enjoy having a little bit of mana steal, to uh, prevent, you know, their untimely depletion of that mana pool, which can also end in their death. 
Now, we also have 30% chance of open wounds, which, of course, is the, the ability to deal damage over time based on character level. So the damage of this weapon will scale a little bit with you because the open wounds will scale with you. Um, it dishes out damage over 8 seconds uh, based on your character's level, and um, it will, in fact, stop regeneration during that time period as well, which is actually absolutely excellent. Uh, we also have plus 5 energy, which at level 19 is actually a pretty decent amount, and will give you a nice little bump in your mana pool. Uh, and then we also have all resistances 20, which not for, you know, for Nightmare and Hell difficulty is absolutely nothing, but for normal difficulty, all resistances 20 can actually give you a pretty healthy defensive capability against most monsters uh, that you come across with various types of elements. And, uh, of course, it's all resistances 20, not, you know, like a specific resistance. So we're getting fire, cold, lightning, and poison. Uh, the ethereal version of this is uh, 19 to 48 damage, and uh, it only has 31 dex and 31 strength requirement at level 19. Now, of course, you could put this on a mercenary if you find an ethereal version. The open wounds combined with the decent damage and attack rating and the all resistances could definitely help keep your merc alive. Unfortunately, they don't get any benefit from the uh, mana steal. That's not really going to help them at all, but um, it's not bad. Now, let's take a look and see what would happen if we upgrade this uh, with a Ral, a Soul, and a Perfect Emerald. Uh, this Soul Harvest Scythe is going to go from the normal difficulty item to the exceptional version. From 12 to 32 damage, 41 strength, 41 uh, dex, level 19. To the Soul Harvest Battle Scythe, 28 to 72 damage, 82 dexterity, 82 strength, level 30. Um... Not bad, not the greatest, but not bad. I mean, if I was heading into Nightmare Difficulty, which is level 30-ish, you know, if you're heading into Nightmare Difficulty, then yeah, I mean, maybe you could upgrade it. Ral Soul Perfect Emerald is actually pretty cheap. Most people have those laying around all over the place. And uh, the 10% Mana Steel and the Open Wounds could certainly come in handy on like a Druid or something like that who was moving their way up the ranks. The damage isn't too terrible, um, for a two-handed weapon. And as you noted, um, when it's used on the Druid, it's actually very, very fast. The Ethereal version can also be upgraded, uh, which will go from 19 to 48, 31 dex, 31 strength, level 19, to 43 to 107, 72 dex, 72 strength, level 30. Now, of course, uh, we would get a little bit more damage out of this if you had a better version, one that was closer to the 90% mark in ED. And uh, I'm half tempted to maybe just edit in a 90% uh, a version. But, I mean, you don't always find perfect versions of items, so it's kind of unfair to always show the perfect version. Uh, we can upgrade this a third time to the Elite tier, and I know for a fact that it's going to upgrade poorly to the Elite tier, but I always like to do it anyway. Uh, so it's going to go from the Soul Harvest Battle Scythe, 28 to 72, 82 dex, 82 strength, level 30, to the Soul Harvest Thresher, 19 to 227, 118 dex, 152 strength, level 65. So definitely a pretty poor upgrade to Tier 2. 19 to 227 is not good for a two-handed weapon. It would be decent, like okay to decent for a one-handed weapon, but for a two-handed weapon, that is just too low. Uh, the Soul Harvest Ethereal version goes from 43 to 107, 72 dex, 72 strength, level 30, to 228 to 339 damage, 10H dex, 142 strength, level 65. So, quite honestly, um, it, this is not an item that I would really upgrade. I feel like um, one tier upgrade to tier 2 might be viable in certain situations, but tier 2 to 3 is absolutely pointless. Um, I don't really see a good reason for it. Uh, the open wounds could definitely be useful on a mercenary, so if you did find an ethereal version, um, it could actually be very handy to keep your merc alive and also very handy to help your merc be useful. Um, and what I mean by be useful is open wounds is a ability that prevents regeneration. So if you are a caster type and you can't use open wounds yourself, having open wounds on your mercenary is a pretty big deal uh, because it allows you to prevent that monster from regenerating. If you guys uh, have watched my solo cell found series recently on my Necromancer, um, I did a player's eight solo cell found. And one of the biggest issues I had as a caster was that all well, my freaking uh, monsters were just, uh, you know, 
regenerating constantly. So it didn't really matter how much damage I did uh, because they were just constantly regenerating all the damage that I was dishing out to them. And so uh, I found myself often shooting a Prevent Monster Heal bow at them uh, just to one-tap them and uh, provide that Prevent Monster Heal to, you know, to arrest the regeneration. And uh, having a mercenary with open wounds can provide that as well. It will just arrest the regeneration, and you won't have to worry about the monster regenerating for a certain period of time. Now, do keep in mind that Prevent Monster Heal does not work on mercenaries, but Open Wounds does, and uh, if you can keep your mercenary alive while he's using Open Wounds, then more power to you. So uh, this is an interesting choice because it gives your, mon your mercenary resistances, which of course will help keep him alive. Gives him attack rating, which of course will help keep him alive because he will hit more often. And then open wounds, of course, which will make him more useful. Now, he doesn't get any benefit from the mana steal or the energy, but um, that's neither here nor there. Uh, you're probably going to want to have some kind of uh, life steal on him at this point. A very good choice is the bone flesh plate mail, which has life steal on the armor. Um, there's also a couple helmets here and there, like Undead Crown and stuff around this level, which you could potentially be using. Uh, all in all, Soul Harvest uh, <laughs> Scythe is definitely a lower level item that probably should stay in the lower ranks. Um, if you were a druid who was leveling up uh, and you wanted to get that really sick mana steal, could be an interesting choice. Um, I probably wouldn't use this on a Polearm Barbarian because of how slow it is. And... Um, it does look very cool. And I think that's pretty much all we can talk about with this item. Um, as always, let's take a look at Silo's pen and see where we could potentially find this item if we wanted to get our hands on it. Uh, maybe you're a low level character who just wants to try and farm one. Uh, maybe you want to see how good it does on your druid uh, to help arrest any kind of mana issues that you might be having. Uh, whatever the reason is, uh, Silo's pen is a good place to go check and see like where, you know, specific items will fall and, you know, what monsters you have to kill to, uh, you know, to get a good, to get a, to get a good idea. So, um, yeah, Silo's Pen. Bink, bink. Oh, that's too small. That is way too small. I don't like that at all. There we go. Good Lord, dog just farted. I thought he pooped on the floor. <coughs> That is some, that is some raunchy level stuff. All right, so Soul Harvest. Let's do about fifty percent magic fine as my eyes water into oblivion. Um, that uh, bosses, and uh, as you can see, pretty good drop chances on a lot of these monsters. Uh, but at level nineteen, we really need this in normal difficulty. So let's go ahead and restrict this to normal. Um, let it also. Uh, we need to find this from a lower tier monster. So, Iswal, Bale, Diablo, Mephisto, those are all out because we want to find this around level 19 when we can actually use it. We don't want to find it, you know, like way later when it's not useful. Um, so, uh, Storm Tree can drop it. One in 2,234. That might be close to about the level you need. Uh, I'm trying to look at the uh, areas here. Travancall can drop it at 1 in 10,000. Honestly, a lot of crappy choices. I'm not going to lie. Like, as far as trying to get this at level 19 so that you can actually use it on a level 19 character, you got some pretty jankety choices. The only two monsters on here that are even close are Battle Maid Serena and uh, Storm Tree. So 2,234. Those are really your only two choices, uh, which probably means that you're not going to find this on level. Well, anyway, as always, get out there and uh, harvest some souls and um, bring them back because we need souls. All right. We need as many souls as you can bring in. Uh, I'll pay you uh, 10 gold coins per soul, uh, 20 if you get a particularly plump soul. And uh, don't ask what I do with them.